In this section, we're going to take a bit of a break from the theory and dive into Blender for some light relief. So in this section, we're going to generate some structural models in Blender and use Blender subdivide tools uh, to easily mesh our structures. And this, what this basically means is we're going to use Blender to automatically generate nodes and element definitions from what is a relatively simple structural definition or structure definition. So we'll define overall what our structure should look like, and then we'll use the tools within Blender, as I say, to, to subdivide that structure structure up and generate all of our nodes and all of our member definitions. So by the end of the section, we'll have all of our model data loaded up inside of our Jupyter Notebook, ready to start writing our solver. So in the first lecture, we deal with how to build structural models in Blender. Now, if you haven't completed the prerequisite course, 3D Space Frame Analysis using Python and Blender, where we go into much more detail on getting up and running in Blender, I've included some lectures in an appendix in this course to help get you up and running. Now, once we have our, our model built, we need to get the data that defines that model out of Blender and over into our Jupyter Notebook. So over the next few lectures, we're going to write some scripts in Python, but inside Blender. And that's going to export our model data and specifically we'll export our nodal coordinates, our member definitions, support information, so information defining what the different support types are for our structure, which we'll specify in Blender. And we're also going to export the locations of point forces or point loads on our structures. So this will be enough information to get us working on the first iteration of our solver. Now, later on in the course, we're going to come back into Blender and we'll have to do a little bit more work on our model um, to, to build in, for example, bracing elements and things like that. But for now, this is enough information to get out over into our Jupyter Notebook to start working on our solver. So next, once we get the data out of Blender, we've got to, we've got to get it into our notebook. So the next thing we're going to do is to write some code uh, within our notebook, within our main solver notebook, to bring the, the data defining our model from CSV files over into the notebook. And once we've got our data loaded up, we can start working on the solver itself. So we'll start by building the global force vector, and this is going to be based on the, the positions or the locations that we specified for point loads over in Blender. Finally, we're going to visualize our structure inside of our notebook by plotting it using matplotlib. Now, this is going to be helpful for us because it allows us to confirm that all of our data made it over, or the, the structure definition at least, made it over from Blender over into our notebook without any errors. Okay, so there's a, a fair bit in this section, but uh, you shouldn't find it as demanding from a, a theoretical point of view as uh, some of the previous sections.